Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't filmed, I know it's been a while, but life has happened, so you know how things happen and you know, you're unable to film. So I'm just gonna do a get ready with me, um, just a soft, glowy, get ready with me, like a pink, I have a pink shirt on, so probably do a little bit of pink and see what we can come up with. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna use my eyeshadow primer again from Milani and prime the lids. Hope everybody is doing well and having a wonderful summer. It's definitely hot over here. Summer came early, so I'm not mad though. I'd rather warm weather than cold weather, so. So I am just going to blend this in Right, and then we're gonna use some transition colors like usual. And let's see here, I'm trying to decide which palette I wanna use for the transition. Should have my ducks lined up in a row before starting, but that's what happens. So I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Uh, Bite Size Shadow and Cream Sugar. I'm just gonna use this color here. It's a little light, but it's okay. Everything will blend. I'll probably use another, probably a little bit warmer transition color just to darken it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my Starlet Pro Fusion palette and just take um, like this color here. It's like a tan color. And then we're gonna move into some pink. I'm trying to decide which pink I wanna use. I see a couple colors. I think I may just use the same brush here. It's a blending brush. But use the same um, brush here. And I'm gonna use this color here to start off with. I'm probably just gonna mix some colors together and see what I can come up with. This is a pretty color. I'm probably gonna take one more color and then I'll end up using a shimmer on top um, to give it a pop. I noticed that shimmers, you know, shimmers make your eyes pop. So you can put your shadow on, but once you put your shimmer on, the color pops. So get me a different brush here. I'm just using like a little blending fluffy brush here. Uh, this is from Elena Bedro. These are some nice brushes here. I like this pink here. It matches my shirt pretty well. So I'll probably just mix it with these two colors here. I'm trying to debate if I want to put on... Um, eyeliner on top or not. I guess we'll see, you know, what it does. Yeah, I'm gonna try and start filming more content. It's just again, you know, summer's here, so there's a lot more things to do, um, but I'm gonna try and squeeze in my time to, you know, continue filming and 
getting some content out there. So I have those colors on. So let me see. Look about the shimmer. Now they do have one. I do have a shimmer here. It is the Prism Metal Shimmer. It's a chrome mousse shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. It's a pink. So probably just use my fingers on there because it is very moussey. I don't know if you can tell for that texture in there, but it's very moussey. I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. Just dip my finger in there and see. And see, it just makes it pop. Don't worry, I will blend out the edges here. Just putting this stuff on right now. I love this, this is very pretty. Again, pink is one of my favorite colors. I'm just gonna apply this to the next side. I said I was gonna sit there and talk about a, or not sit there, but I said I was going to do a, just like a glowy glam. <laughs> and I'm sitting over putting on shimmer. All right. Okay, so that is on there. Don't know if you can see it. I think you can though, I can see it. It's shining, very shiny. All right, so I'm gonna put that down. And then we're going to prime the skin and get ready to put the foundation on. I don't think I'm gonna put on any eyeliner on. Um, just gonna leave this on here and put some mascara on here in a little bit. I may put some bottom eyeliner on, but not the top. I don't wanna take away from the shimmer that we just applied. So um, I'm going to go ahead and prime the skin. And again, I'm using my NYX uh, Bear With Me setting spray. It's a good setting spray. Always prep the face before applying, you know, your foundation, your primer. I'm gonna prep the skin, moisturize, let that sit for about half an hour or so, and then go in with your setting spray and primers, prep the skin. Now I'm going to take my Catrice primer, one of my all-time favorites. It does have my uh, cinnamide in there. It's a very good primer. this on here like usual face get it primed and set I believe I am sunburnt on my nose I wear sunscreen all the time but I believe it caught me anyway I didn't know we could sunburn but a little sunburn. All right. Okay, so the skin is primed. So we're gonna go ahead and put on our foundation. I'm still loving this Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. It works wonders in the summer, especially if your skin is prepped and primed properly. It sits on there really well. Um, so I've been using this for now. I'll probably switch it up here, here pretty soon just to switch it up but yeah it's it's really nice I like this and it leaves your skin dewy so go ahead and put this on Yeah, I believe I am sunburnt, for real. My nose is red. Well, I mean, I have a blemish on my nose, but yeah, I'm definitely sunburnt. My nose is peeling too. But that e.l.f., um, I have it here. It's that e.l.f. Halo Glow um, sunscreen. It's a really good sunscreen to use, like on your face. That's what I use. It's really good. I think it is like SPF 30. 
I have it. Is it now looking at over there? Yeah, it's SPF 30, but I will link it down below. I prep my skin with that, so make sure you guys wear your sunscreen. So that is on. I'm going to go into my concealer. I haven't switched anything up as of yet. Um, I'm not using two shades anymore. I'm in 415 Honey. Um, being that I've gotten darker, I don't have to go in lighter. So I am using that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blend it out. It has set on here for a couple minutes, but the power of editing, you will not see that. It's a good thing about editing. Some things can be cut out. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and blend that in. cover up some of this sunburn my nose is red it's all good it's a part of the process okay so now I'm about to set my under eyes with my Haley's translucent smoothing perfection powder I will leave this link down below as well it's a really good powder to set and I did buy me some pink powder puffs. Imagine it's pink. But yeah, there's some pink powder puffs to set under your eyes. So again, whenever you're setting your eyes with your powder, just, you know, blend in the concealer and then take your powder puff and dip it into the powder and set the under eyes. So that gives you like a smooth finish right there. And then I'll just take me a regular sponge, my beauty sponge here in a moment and just finish off the rest of my face. So again, just blend out the creases and apply your powder on your sponge. that and I'm just going to take my elf beauty blender sponge to set the rest of my face what I have noticed in the summer is applying the setting powder this is what works for me so again what may work for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me but what I have noticed is using a dry sponge setting it in the setting powder especially in the summer um, setting your face with the powder and I noticed that it lasts a little bit longer instead of wetting your face, because if you're wetting your face in the summertime, then it, you know, your face is going to tend to get oily a little bit faster. I mean, my face still gets oily, but it, you know, decreases with a dry sponge. So I'm just doing what I've noticed works for me. You're more than willing, you know, try it out and see how it does for you. But this is what has been working for me. So my skin doesn't get as oily as fast. So, yeah, it's a trick that I, you know, discovered. I think I was in a hurry or something, uh, putting my face on, and I forgot to wet my sponge. And me doing that, that's when I realized that, hey, it works, you know, it lasts longer. So there's that. We have set the face now with the setting powder and we are going to go ahead and apply bronzer blush well actually no i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes so i'm sitting here trying to think if i want to use black eyeliner for the bottom or if i want to just use 
pink eyeliner for the bottom. So I do have one. You Sometimes you just gotta improvise. I have a, it's actually a lip liner. I thought it was an eyeliner, but it's a lip liner. And I was like, you know what? I could just use this and use it for my under eyes. So I may just do it just to put a little, you know, gonna go pink, go ahead and go all the way. Now I don't know if it's gonna show. All right, so I lied. This is not showing. I may just dry it out. Oh, there we go. Cause it's a gel liner. I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah, it's pink eyeliner, but it's pretty. Or not eyeliner, lip liner, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna do it on this eye too. But yeah, there you go, it's the pink eyeliner, you see? It's pretty. Lip liner, not eyeliner. Lip liner using for eyeliner. Bear with me, it's been a minute. I apologize. My words are kinda, you know, you know what I'm trying to say though, you guys get me. So anyway, let's do mascara. I'm still on this Essence Lash Princess. If I say it real slow, then I can say it. If I try and say it fast, I can't say it. I don't understand, it's the S's, but all right, so we're gonna put this on. Again, I just do a double, you know, a double coat of mascara. A couple coats on there. I'm still gonna do lashes one day. I tried them one lashes, I believe it was from like the Dollar Tree haul. And um, they just would not stay on my eye. But one day I'm going to do lashes, I promise it's coming. Bear with me. Yeah, I like this better because I'm not taking away from the um, shimmer that I put on top. That's me adjusting my mirror. Cause I know sometimes when I bend down to put my mascara on this camera, well, I'm using my phone, but my, it, I don't know. It does something like you can't see me applying my mascara. So I'm trying to work with it so you can see me doing it without it cutting me off or you guys not being able to see. But yeah, I just put a couple cuts of mascara on my lashes aren't the best. They are a little bit long, you know, with mascara. I know some people have, you know, short lashes and that's why they get, you know, lash extensions put on. I'm kind of nervous to do that. I don't know if I want to do all that. I'd rather just stick a strip on or something and do it. So, but you never know. Maybe in due time. Okay, so there's that, pretty much. Just going over this again. I really like that shimmer. The shimmer's pretty. It's like iridescent, an iridescent pink. It's really pretty. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll go back under my eyes with the powder puff. And now we're going to do bronzer, blush, and highlight. And we will be ready to get this done. So bronzer, where's my bronzer brush? All right, bronzer, yeah, I'm doing the Ace Beauté bronzer. It's my jam. I'm gonna have to give me some more stuff. <laughs> so this is my jam. I just kind of smile a little bit and put it on. Like, like a blush, you know? But do what works for you. All right, get underneath my you know double chin over here. All right, blush. We're going to do some blush, 
And I'm gonna use this. This is the BH Cosmetics Glowing and Grease. I'm gonna use this blush. And I'm not really doing anything when I get done. I'm gonna go take my walk because I like doing my exercise. Gotta get my walk in. But yeah, I'm gonna do some blush. I'm not even going to, I'm just getting off work. But I was like, I need to film because I haven't filmed in a while. So film, go take my walk, come back, fix my dinner, edit, and that'll be my night. All right, so let's do some highlight. I'm thinking, I don't know if I should do these highlights or if I want to do that Too Faced highlight with the pink. Because you know me, I'm all about pink. So this is kind of frosty, but I don't know if it'll be too much. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Why not? Go all out. Go glam. It's supposed to have been just a basic get ready with me glowy type of glam. But I sit over here and made it all like I'm going on a special occasion or something. But anyway, so yeah, spray your brush and apply. I don't know if you can see it. I see it here glowing really well. You see that? So again, dip, spray. But I'm at the blend. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, so there's that. And I believe that's it, guys. I pretty much have my lip product on. I mean, I guess I could put some little lipstick on. May as well for the video, right? This is um, Soulmate. Lipstick is Soulmate. All right, so this is it. This is pretty much the completed look. Just a basic chit chat, get ready with me. Pink edition, <laughs> you wanna call it that. So this is it guys. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.